ever before seeing such reluctance to accept a new service as what we are seeing around ride hailing. The demand for it cannot be denied. It's universally applauded wherever it exists, which is almost everywhere but BC. Now the NDP is going to allow ride sharing light. It's called cater, which must mean cater to the taxi industry. It's just a dressed up taxi service, which we learn is even going to share revenue with the taxi companies. Sweet. How can that be good for consumers? It can't be. The NDP probably knows it can't hold off Uber and Lyft beyond the next election because the Liberals will promise it. So it's stalling. It's like saying, we know you like this new TV thing, so we'll let you have it, but you can only have analog, not high definition, and the biggest screen we'll license is 36 inches, or you could have DVDs, but not streaming. I've used Uber. So have most British Columbians who travel. I've said it before. Cab companies have had years to prepare for the competition and haven't. Cater isn't what the consumer wants. The consumer wants Uber or Lyft or to be able to choose. The government standing in the way of progress is simply denying people, voters, what they clearly want. It's my opinion. I'm Bill Good and you're listening to News 1130.